okay so hello guys and welcome back to my youtube channel in today's tutorial i want to show you how to create something like this so i i got the inspiration from uh, this site so views viewstarts.com so while browsing this website i found uh, the live subscribers count for mr beast this one I decided to create one for my own. I said, why not? This one. So I saw this one and created mine. This one. It is a low budget for myself. Okay, so I'm going to show you how I managed to create it. And before I do that, let me let me try subscribing. Then we can see if uh, the, the, the number changes. Just a second. I think I have uh, an email account, so this one. switch. Uh -huh. Then uh, let me search. I'm using my phone, so. So if I go to this one, let me pause first then. I'm going to let me click here. So as you can see, I'm going to click subscribe. Then we are going to see the number change. Uh, yeah, you can see it's it changed from 37 to 38. Okay, now let's start. So if I start explaining, you can get the code for this project on my GitHub account. So I, I will share the link in the description. Is the link it has a very detailed readme. So I'll share the link in the description. Don't worry about that. So let's get started. Okay, so the first things first, we will create a file called YouTube.js, which will uh, which will do the fetching. This file is the main, it's like the engine, it will carry the, it will take the API key and the channel ID and uh, use those two to fetch data from the YouTube API. Then it will return uh, the subscriber account, channel name and profile picture. So the response from this uh, fetch, I'll show you the structure of the response. So I saved it here so here is how the structure of the response looks like so you can get uh, under items you have the title description of my channel custom url published art all these then there's the statistics part where you can see view count total amount of views in your channel subscribers count number of subscribers your channel has hidden this one i don't know Views count, video count. This is the number of videos we've created. So this is the structure of the uh, response from the API. But in our case, we only want the subscriber count, which we will take from data or statistics or subscribers count. As you can see, uh, we'll go to also statistics or subscribers count. Uh, because we are storing this thing in data so data so we'll go data dot in the response uh, statistics then dot uh, subscriber count if you want to view count you can add that one this one this one but in my case i just wanted the subscribers count then uh, channel name you can go data snippet title as you can see, data uh, with snippet. Snippet. I think it is items, then snippet, then title. Oh, yeah. Data snippet title. Okay. Then data snippet thumbnails default URL. So that one is for the profile picture. So 
thumbnail default url okay that's how the youtube.js works so basically it fetches it fetches the youtube api uh, and provides the api key and the channel id so for the api key i'm i'm, I'm, fetch, I'm taking it from my environment i can show you the my api key but uh i'll show you an environment an example where how you can create it so this is how it should look like so uh let me i remove this one okay so it should look like this so react app youtube api then here you paste your api key i will show you how to get your api key don't worry about that okay so that's how this works then the next thing is a uh, live sub count so in this i will use use state and use effect then uh, will import get channel details from the youtube.js file then this is just for, for some button i used this one i imported that uh, icon that tick icon so that's what this is about then const live sub count equal to so here we are setting state so initial initial uh, values so subscribe account initially we will set it to null before fetching channel name we'll set it to an empty string and profile picture to an empty empty string before fetching then uh we will fetch the channel details so here we will use a sync then await get channel details so get channel details is uh that one is what we imported from here so this function we will use it under this async function then here we we make uh, we make the process repeat itself so in in matters of three three seconds so after every three seconds this value will be so like the program will run itself to check if the amount of value has changed yeah that's that's what this this effect is about then this is just the jsx where the values are returned so as you can see here we return uh, here first under the source we return the channel details profile picture here we return channel name and uh, uh, yeah that's all channel name profile picture and sub count okay so here we check if it's not null then we pass this yeah basically that's it so now i want to show you how you can get the uh api key so this api key here this one so to get that we'll go to google Google Developers Console. Google Developers Console. Nice. This one. Then uh, this one. I think nowadays it's called Google Cloud Console. Yeah. Google Cloud Console. Then we'll, cre we'll create a project, I think we'll do that so we'll create a project as you can see i have some several projects here that we'll create here so name your project so let me just say random project sorry random uh, project will be hyphen no organization create okay where is it oh it's this one uh -huh. 
then uh, okay. So pet project then let me see. APIs and services. Then you select a project. Uh, let me see, random project. Yeah. Okay. Then uh, go to credentials. No, we still don't, don't have credentials, so just go to APIs. Things library. Yeah, I think this is here. Then look for this one, YouTube Data API V3. Then uh, enable. Okay. Okay, once you've enabled create credentials. Then uh, public data. Next, uh, done. So that's the JQ just so there. So if you go to credentials, we can use this API key. Yeah, that's that's how you create API key. So. You can copy this one then in the dot env dot env sorry you paste here your code just paste that api key here then the code should work and also one thing before i forget this is my channel youtube channel id so you should change also this one to your channel id so to get channel id just go to youtube then come here, then uh, go to advanced, sorry, settings, then advanced settings, then here you'll find the channel ID, so this is what you will paste here under channel ID. For the API key, just come, create a .env like mine here. I don't want to click it because you will see the API key. So basically, you click it, then make sure it looks like this. Instead of your YouTube API key here, replace it with the actual API key. Then you are good to go. Okay, and basically that's it. So don't forget to subscribe, like, and share with your friends.